Hello everyone. Under the pillow. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Joy's Kitchen. Today's recipe and I'm um is going to be fried fish. I'm frying me some fish for my dinner today and I'm doing green tomatoes. But I'm only going to show you how to do how I do my fried green tomatoes. So this is going to be on how to do fried green tomatoes my way. So how y'all doing this Saturday afternoon at 5.04 p.m.? You see what I'm doing? I'm about to get my dinner started. This morning I did a video which I'll be uploading after a while. My computer is slow so it's taking a little minute for it to upload. But <coughs> it would have been upload but you know how when I wasn't here I had some errands to run this morning so I left my kids here and they ain't gonna upload the video. They in there doing their thing so I had to finish it when I come back. So it's just got a little bit of time remaining and it'll be ready to go. So, this recipe is how I do my fried green tomatoes. I have three nice tomatoes here, green tomatoes, that I already sliced, okay? Now, I washed them and I sliced them, but I haven't seasoned them yet. So, and I have one light, one remaining, well, I have two remaining, but I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna use this one, and I think that'll be enough. I don't need too much, okay? So, you're just going to slice the tomato, slice the end of it off, and you can slice it as thick or as thin. Now, this is the thin is how I'm slicing it, okay? Then we'll go over the seasons that you're going to use. You can have a dipping sauce for this. Now I said I, I might do a dipping sauce, but I'm not gonna do one. So, and then this end part here, you wanna throw that part away, okay? You don't need that part. So, this one is kinda thick, which is okay, cause I do like them a little thick, instead of thin all the time. But thin, it doesn't take long to cook, okay? Now, you don't wanna overcook these tomatoes. What we're looking for, it's like five to ten minutes. I mean five to ten minutes. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. The devil is alive. Two to three minutes on each side. Okay, that's all you want to cook them for is two to three minutes on each side. So we're going to get started. Okay, so I'm going to season these. And I'm seasoning them with some kosher salt. So you will need kosher salt and just black pepper to season, season them with. Okay. And I have six seasonings up here. So as I go, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with each one of those seasonings. So I'm, I'm, I'm seasoning the front and the back side of these. Okay? Just a little sprinkle on each side. Because we're going to have more seasoning on these, but... So I don't want them to be too, you know, salty. You just want to taste that seasoning. You want to know some seasoning I've been on here. Somewhere. So when you're getting your green tomatoes, make sure you get you some nice sized green tomatoes. Not them little puny things. Get you a nice size that you can work with and you can have you some tomatoes. I've been looking for the big ones. Like this. This is what I be looking for when I'm getting my green tomatoes. Now it's starting to turn a little red right there, but it's still good. You know what I'm saying? It's still green on the inside. Okay, so you want to find some big green tomatoes if you can and use these because you get more tomato and you cut them thin, you get more tomato. So I bought like five, six tomatoes. I use four. This is, this is more than enough. Okay? So you just get 
frying the bag just a little just a little seasoning not much <clears throat> I don't want them burn nobody so we just putting a little salt and pepper on them front and back okay so I'll set the, the um, fried green tomatoes to the side because we have those seasoned okay now along with the um, fried green tomatoes I have my oil here getting hot because I'm going to use one basket and I just bought this today and I like it already and I, um, I haven't started frying nothing in it yet. I got my grease in here ready to get hot. It's at 375 so I'm re re um, waiting on this to get hot and then we're going to start um, putting that stuff in there okay my food. Alright so you will need some eggs. I have seven eggs beaten in this bowl. Seven eggs okay. So we're gonna sit. I'm gonna sit my fried green. I mean my green tomatoes to the side, and I'm gonna get my other bowls and fill those up and tell you what we're gonna do with those. So I have two bowls here. We're gonna use one bowl for the flour. So you're gonna need three bowls, okay? One for the egg mixture, and you're gonna need one for the flour. And I'm going to tell you what you're going to need the other one for. And a few shakes. So let me get some to dip my flour in. Okay, so I have one. Two. Okay, I'm going to start off with two scoops for now. If I need some more, I always get add some more. So I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, now to this flour mixture, I'm going to show you what we're going to do to that. Let me get me a little, um, now to this flour mixture, I have some, so in your pantry, listen now, y'all going to need six seasonings you got to take out. That's kosher salt, black pepper. Or if you don't use kosher salt, sea salt, if you don't use kosher or sea, then the salt of your choice, okay? You're going to need black pepper. You're going to need onion powder. And you're going to need garlic powder. You're going to need paprika. You're going to need cayenne pepper. Those are the six seasons. The first two seasons, the kosher salt and the black pepper, I put on my green um, tomatoes. So the onion powder and the garlic powder, we're going to put in this powder okay so there's my onion powder I mean my garlic now a little onion powder okay we're gonna mix this together just mix it together okay get it well incorporated should have had my little whisk That'll be more better. I need to buy me a big whisk. That's what I need to do. I don't know why I was in the store today, but I didn't get me one. Okay, here's my little whisk. So you just want to get this well incorporated, like I said. Whisk it really well. I have some, um, little balls here of garlic powder that I'm just mashing with my fingers. I got some little balls of um because my um garlic powder is loose but and some it's like it's not stale it's where it's like because it I this is fresh bottle it's like a little hard like but it's not stale you see what I'm saying see those big rocks up in there so it's like little balls in there so I'm just loosening it with my hand
Okay. So just give it a good whisk a couple times. the little light is going to come on and let me know that it's ready. How about that? So this little green light right here, I don't know if y'all, you guys can see that. But anyway, it's a green light. It's a blue light on right now so that let me know that the power is on. Then a green light is going to come up with a ready sign at and let me know that it's hot. That it's ready and I can put, put my tomatoes and my fish in, okay? Alright, so we have our two bowls. I said we're going to need three. We got one more. Okay, so you're going to need your egg mixture. I have 70 eggs. You use how many eggs that you need depending on how many tomatoes that you're frying. I have seven. I have my egg, I mean my, um, my flour mixture with my um, onion powder and my garlic powder. Okay, next. You will need, please make sure that you get this right here, panko breadcrumbs, okay? You will need these. Do not get the breadcrumbs that's already seasoned. Get the panko breadcrumbs um, because these are the best breadcrumbs if you ask me. These is the kind of breadcrumbs you want when you're getting ready to fry something or um, they come with a resealable bag. When you're getting ready to fry something and you're putting a shrimp or um, in my case my fried green tomatoes, these make the bread, best breadcrumbs. And I got them from Walmart just for like a dollar and some change. 164, I think. Okay, so we're gonna pour a little bit of breadcrumbs in here. Don't need the whole bag. Save some. Okay, so I got my breadcrumbs in here. So to that, our last and two ingredients that we'll be using is paprika. We're gonna pour a little bit of paprika in here. Okay, then you're gonna have a little cayenne pepper, just for a little kick. Not where they can taste the heat of the tomato, but just a little pinch. One or two pinches will be fine. So I did two pinches of cayenne pepper. You're gonna put this in at your own wrist okay it's up to you so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mix my breadcrumb mixture together with my paprika and my cayenne pepper and I just did two pinches now I want just me eating it I would did a little bit more me and my kids I would did a little bit more because they like spicy stuff too They take after their mama on that. But my husband don't like it spicy. So, and if you want, you can take this. You can put a little bit more cayenne pepper in it. You can put some black pepper in here and mix it with the paprika and do it like that. But I'm not going to have it too hot. So, this is going to be just fine. So, I'm going to set this up in the way that we're going to use it, okay? So, I have my egg mixture because I'm going to dip it in my egg mixture. I'm going to go in the flour mixture. I'm going to go in the breadcrumb mixture. Then I'm going to go to the grease, okay? So, that's the way we're going to use these. From egg to flour to crumbs. Okay. 
And I'm going to tell you, these are so good. If you have not had fried green tomatoes, y'all make this recipe. I got a recipe on there with fried green tomatoes, but that recipe is, uh, I don't think you can see all of it. Okay. So this this hot I need to be cooled off a little bit. And this heat around this grease make it cool, y'all. Make you hot. I meant to say, not cool, make me hot around this grease. This drink, y'all, is so good. But you know what? I can't tell y'all what's in, what's all in here. This is liquor. I don't know what all different kinds of liquor is in here. But then the lady, it's a bootleg, bootleg, bootleg liquor. A bootleg look lady. It ain't bootleg liquor. It's regular liquor. But she mixed it with a lot of different stuff. She got oranges in here, strawberries is in here, oranges and strawberries. I'm shaking it up. She have oranges and strawberries in here. Um, she sell this at night. They be like, you know, Friday, Saturday night, you out playing games, playing cards and stuff. And you got the bootleg house because you're playing cards right down from the bootleg house. So you go down there and drink, you play cards and stuff. You know, you, you, you got your thing going on. And she sell this. I don't know how much she sell it for, but we got this right here. And it is so good. I will not lie. It is so good. Try to give me some of them fruit. And this way the, the, the most of the liquor done dried up at in the fruit. So I just do this the fruit for decoration because I ain't gonna suck on that fruit because that's where I live at right there. And I'm soaked up. And you'll be feeling real good with that fruit. But I feel alright. But anyway, it's good. Yeah, I can see what this looks like. More in a cup. It's good. I can't tell y'all what. It looks like Kool-Aid a little bit. But it's not Kool-Aid. It's liquor-aid. And I can't tell y'all how many different, I mean, what, what all kind of liquor that she got in here. And she set the fruit, cut the fruit up in there and stuff like that right there. But it is, it's like a, a sweet, it's sweet. See, this is why I sneak up on you. Because look. It's sweet liquor. It's not bitter. It, it tastes good. And next thing you know, you'll be feeling real good because it, it is real sweet. I don't know how she do what she make this with or how many different kinds. All I know that it's more than two different kinds of liquor that she used to make this recipe. And I wish I knew the recipe to it because, honey, I'll be making my own. Trust that and believe that. But it is so sweet. That's what gets you. The sweetness, cause it's sweet. See, I didn't find my fi my face not one time. Y'all seen that? I didn't find my face not one time because this ain't no harsh tasting liquor mix. It tastes just like Kool Aid. I mean, it tastes like Kool Aid. It is so sweet. It's good. It's not sweet to well. You can't drink this. It's too sweet for me to drink. It's not that kind of sweet. It's sweet, like if you like your Kool-Aid sweet, but not too sweet, but it's still good, it's like that. It ain't too sweet, it's just right sweet. And it's good. 
I just oh it's ready. Okay, I just wish I knew what she made this with because baby, I'll be having my own. And say them duggies won't be going down there buying none of that mix. Look, honey, I'll be making my own. Okay. But of course, I don't mind spending money with other people. Okay, so it ain't like I can't spend no money, no money with nobody else. Now I'm not saying that, cause I do and I have and I will. But if I can make my own, why not? Right? Why not? And then when I'm out and I want something, like, let's go buy such and such. You know what I mean? It's like that. Okay, so now we're going to get ready, and we're going to get ready and fry these. I got, this came with three baskets, y'all. I got two baskets, one for my fish, and I'm going to use one for the, um, the tomatoes. So, and I'm only going to do a couple pieces at a time, okay? So let me do it like this, because I'm going to do it with my hand. Don't get with hell in the egg mixture. Let's see, this can get messy. Then we're gonna put some um, put it in the flour mixture. Okay, make sure it's good and coated. Shake off any excess, dump it in the, in the crust mixture, in the breadcrumbs. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Okay, well, anyway. Flour. Flour breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs got to stick, right? I have my bowls backwards. Okay, here's my breadcrumbs. My flour. There we go. So I got two of them in now. Okay. Check out the, egg, the excess egg mixture, breadcrumbs, flour, grease. Egg, shake off, breadcrumbs, sprinkle, shake off. Flour, shake off, drop it in there. Okay, keep an eye on it because it, you don't want it to overcook, okay? Breadcrumbs, flour, shake off. There you go. Okay. So just until they get nice and brown on both sides, and they ready, y'all. So I just flip them over. I'm gonna set this right here. See, can I move this over a little bit? My counter space is limited, but I'll be working with it, y'all. Okay, these are getting ready to come out. 
Because we don't want to overdo it. We don't want to overcook them. It don't take long. See, this is what you're looking for right here. Golden brown. See that? It don't take long for them. Okay, I'm turning the other ones over. Okay, flour. I mean, egg mixture. Check off. Breadcrumbs. Egg mix. Flour. One. Egg. Shake off. Breadcrumbs. Shake off. Flour. That's two. Egg. Breadcrumbs. Flour. That's three. Okay, these are ready. See how quick they take to cook y'all? Not long at all, so that's why you can't leave them. But you'll, you'll have some burnt um, green tomatoes. You don't want them burnt, y'all, so be mindful when you're cooking these. You gotta stay around, because they will burn quick. You gotta keep your eye on them. I'm gonna set a couple of them in here. So I got five sitting in there. I'm gonna wash my hands. Then I'm gonna turn them. I'm gonna turn the ones that I just, that I sat in there, not the ones that I just sat in there. The first one, okay? So I'm turning them. So I got two here and I'm trying to do the, the green tomatoes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and cut this, um, use one pan for this and use the other pan for my fish after I take this out so I can get this fish fried up too. Because I don't want to be all day doing that. Okay? Okay. Ready to come out. And then, it's hitting this heat. If you feel like, take a look at these fried green tomatoes, y'all. If you feel like y'all need some, um, you need some more, um, Salt right now while they out they came out the grease and they good and hot. Take and sprinkle some more salt on them. But I'm gonna taste it just to make sure that I have enough seasoning on it. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna taste. because here on the tomatoes I just put salt and black pepper kosher salt and black pepper and my flour okay so I got my fish fry here and I'm just gonna toss it in my bag let me do this because I don't want these to burn so I just had to check on them okay so I'm tossing my fish 
then I'm just gonna drop it in this pan right here, okay? So you want them nice and golden brown. And have you some paper towel so you can drain that excess grease off, okay? So I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to get the, um, put some more tomatoes in there, okay? So y'all, I promise the next time that I do fried green tomatoes, I will give y'all a dipping sauce. Today, I just don't feel like chopping up the stuff that I need. But I promise next time you will have a dipping sauce because it is so good with the dipping sauce that I use. If you don't have a dipping sauce, let me get this up. If you don't have a dipping sauce, you can use ranch, okay? So we're going to take this tomato, drop it in the breadcrumbs. So I have one. So I'm hoping that this mixture lasts while um shake off the excess. Until I finish, because I don't have that many more to go. So I'm gonna do four more. This one is kind of thin. Okay, one more. Then I'm gonna do another fold. Okay. So I'm gonna set four more in here. And all, all I have is three left, so that works out fine. So I'm frying these little whitey fish for dinner. And I want them to get good and brown. I like these little fish real hard. Let me show y'all the season that I use for the fish, okay? Y'all get you some of this. This is good for fish or chicken. And it's left these spices. Fish or chicken mix. Can you see that? Fish or chicken mix. And it's good for either fish or chicken. I love using this. Today I'm using this on my fish. I use it on my chicken. And I don't feel like using that now, so I'm making on something on my own. Hey. I grab me some lifters. That is good. Turn my tomato my tomatoes. I just love this little dude thing. $39 for my Walmart. And they had the other one, I forgot what name brand that one was. And it was $79. I said, shoot, the $39 can do just what the $79 can do. 
This is um, fiberware, four liter deep fryer. Okay, this is a four liter deep fryer, fryer from fiberware, and it was thirty nine dollars from Walmart. Everyday price. Then they had the other one for seventy nine. I don't want to pay no seventy nine. Okay, a couple more minutes. And put me some more fish in my bag. Put three pieces in here this time. Zip lock it. Shake it up. That's it. Okay, I'm going to take these green tomatoes out. Nice and golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Fried green tomatoes. Okay, we got three pieces left. Our last three pieces. I'm going to wash my hands right quick. I'm going to touch me some fish. Get ready to take this other fish out. You guys been looking for some um fried green tomatoes? Look no farther. Whitening fish fillets. How about that? Look no further. These are some good tasting. I will not lie to you. God knows I wish I could let y'all taste one right about now. And you can see for yourself. How good they taste. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Try these fried green tomatoes recipe. Just the way I did it. Try it. You try it like how I just did it. I promise you, you won't need no more seasoning on these fried green tomatoes. Unless you just want more seasoning. But we season our green tomatoes with salt and black pepper. That's kosher salt and black pepper. We season our flour mixture with onion powder and garlic powder. We season our, 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 pink, our, our pinko breadcrumbs with um, paprika and cayenne pepper. For most, for most, if you want it spicier, use a little bit more cayenne pepper and mix it with black pepper. Use more heat. And I promise you when you fry these, you do them this way. You ain't gonna wanna do them no other way. If you done tried another recipe and you like that, baby, try this recipe. Cause you'll love this one. Try this recipe. Okay, my last three is in the egg mixture bowl. If you try another, uh, 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 um, a fried green tomato recipe, and you like that one, try this one. Try this one on for size. And I promise you, you'll like this one as well. You might not want to use the other one. Because I'm telling you, this is a good 
fried green tomato recipe. You got all your seasonings. But just in separate bowls. And it's still getting the same seasoning. It's still getting seasoned. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is good. This is good. Okay. Taking out my fried green tomatoes. Just a couple minutes, y'all. Just only one or two minutes. And they're done, okay? It don't take that long. You don't want them burnt. You leave them in now longer than that, then you're going to have to make your fresh batch. Because you don't want them overcooked and you don't want them burnt. Okay, that's one. And I'm glad I'm on my last one because my mixture was starting to get like a little, this was starting to cake up on me just a little bit from all that um, egg mixture. Okay, that's two, three, or two and a half. Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna dump this because I'm done with that. Can't use that no more. Okay. I'm gonna dump the flour. And I'm done with the egg mixture.
Okay. Now I'm going to put the rest of these fish in here. I'm checking my tomatoes, my own tomatoes. I'm going to get ready to take them out. Then I'm going to come back to you guys when I get to find this fish and show you what everything looks like. Okay, let me take this out. Okay, now I can use two bowls for my fish. So, my fried green tomatoes is done. I'm going to come back to you guys. And let me show y'all a little quick and real quick. So this is what the fried green tomatoes looks like right here. I'm going to come back to you guys and I'm going to show you what it looks like all plated up. So I'm going to finish, um, continue to fry this fish and I'll be back shortly with the rest of this recipe. See you guys in a few. Okay, I'm back. Welcome. Here we have our delicious um, fried green tomatoes. Okay. Now, we have our fish. Let me get a couple pieces of fish. I don't want that many. Let me find one nice thick one and a small one. Okay, that's enough fish for me. So I'm gonna take them, put them in a little bit of um ranch because I didn't do the dressing. So we using ranch. I didn't make my dressing today. Okay. So can you guys see that plate? Let me bring it over. Let me do this. Sorry, you guys. Jesus. Okay. You see that? Fried green tomatoes and our ranch dressing with our whiting fish fillets. You guys like this recipe? Give me a thumbs up. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. Okay? Please try it. I'm telling you. You cannot go wrong with this recipe. We use six seasonings. Our first two, salt, kosher salt, and black pepper. Or if you don't like kosher, sea salt. If you don't like sea salt, use the salt of your choice, okay? But you're going to need some salt and black pepper. And that's going to go on our sliced green tomatoes. For the flour mixture, you will need onion powder and garlic powder, okay? Mix that well. For the bread crumb, panko bread crumbs is what you will need. For that mixture, you will need um, um, paprika and cayenne pepper. Now, if you want to make it a little spicier, use more cayenne pepper. Mix it with a little black pepper, okay? I use two pinches of cayenne pepper. Mix that together. You're going to take your um, tomato, 
dip it into the egg mixture, then into the breadcrumb mixture, then into the flour mixture. Fly, fry it two to three minutes per side. Okay, do not fry it longer than three minutes. It will burn. You don't want to burn them and you don't want to overcook them. Okay, two minutes will be fine on each side. Okay. You want them, you're looking for that color right there. That's on my plate. The nice golden brown color. Not a burnt color and not overcooked. Just right. Okay? So, I'm going to cut one in. Cut one just to show y'all what my insides look like. So, I'm going to show y'all what this inside of this looks like. Can you see that? Sorry, y'all. Can y'all see that? I fried green tomato. Can you see the inside of that? And just dip it. Mmm. And that's it. That's a fried green tomato, y'all. What I whitening fish. I love fried green tomatoes. As long as they cook right, and I know I cook mine right, I can eat them. And it's best when they serve hot. Fried green tomatoes. Y'all try this recipe. Tell me what you like. Like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching this video for the first time, take a few moments and to subscribe to my channel. That's Joy's Kitchen. Where everything in my kitchen is homemade. But not, almost, not, almost not everything. But I tell you, it's easy and it's simple. Nothing's complicated in this kitchen. Thank you all for watching. I thank you all subscribers. I love you all. I thank you. God bless each and every one of y'all. And to the next recipe, God bless. Fried green tomatoes. Enjoy.